Hello, hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Volvo Christian, and welcome to the home of Volvo. I'm here in Gothenburg, Sweden, and more precise, I'm here in Toslanda. We have Volvo's factory just over here in the background. Volvo's factory here in Sweden, Toslanda. I have just parked outside a huge uh, Volvo dealership uh, here in Toslanda. And earlier today, I visited the world of Volvo inside Gothenburg. I made a video with the ES90 and also talked about the EV90 and the EX60. But now I'm actually on my way home to Oslo again, but I thought I was going to do a little drive-by when I either way was in Gothenburg. A little drive-by out here in Toslanda a late Sunday to see if I could find something interesting. And then, what did I find? I found a EX90 in crystal white, but not any EX90. Maybe you can see the text here, bi-directional charging pilot vehicle. And I thought, this is a great opportunity to talk about the huge upgrade that we're going to get now for the EX90. So in this video, we're going to talk bi-directional charging, we're going to talk 800 volt architecture, and also NVIDIA uh, processor chip. So we really hope you will enjoy this video here from Toslanda before the sun settles. But I have to say, just to start, I think the EX90 looks super good in crystal white. This Stormtrooper th theme with the black window frames, black mirror house, black elements. This black and white really works. But bi-directional charging. You know, I attended the um, 1990 events at World of Volvo in September 2024 with the launch of the heavily redesigned XC90 and also yeah, the relaunch of the EX90. And at that event, they had a car out in the uh, one of the halls uh, displaying the bi-directional charging. Where you could see the current going into the car through Volvo's charge box into the car. And also you could see it going out again. And this is supposed to either feed your or power your house and uh, also uh, feed power back to your grid. So bi-directional, it can go both ways. Maybe we can also see them powering like a caravan or um, small supplies, if you have a adapter. But bi-directional, it, go, it goes both ways. You know, Volvo's ES90 will come with this bi-directional charge from the start. Or at least it, it's hardware ready. I think the EX90 will also get that probably for the next model year, like model year 26. But this is just a pilot vehicle, so they are testing it. At least the ES90 have the hardware for it, so when they have sorted out all the software issues, or the software challenges or something, then they can implement it easy in the ES90. And it will also come for the EX90. Personally, I'm not, this is nothing that I am super thrilled about. I don't think I'm going to use it myself, because there's so much other things that needs to be uh, in place, but for those that want this, I think it's good that Volvo will implement this in their uh, EX90 and also the ES90. Furthermore, Volvo will do two additional upgrades for the EX90. The first one being that they're going to change the processor chip in current EX90s, already delivered to customers, free of charge. They're going to change the processor chip to the same one as we got in the ES90. This NVIDIA Orion AGX, no, NVIDIA Drive AGX Orion chip. And that one can do like 500 trillion operations each second. And this will benefit the car's uh, electronical systems. It will work faster and also solve some of the issues that the EX90 have had. And it will also be beneficial for the LiDAR. So that's going to be a huge upgrade, free of charge for existing EX90 owners. And they will do this during this year. But the biggest upgrade for the EX90 are that Volvo will change over to the 800 volt architecture. You know, it's currently on 400 volt. And I have known this fact for yeah, probably 12 to 18 months, because I first read it in an article that they're going to do it with the Polestar 3. They're going to upgrade from 400 volts and over to 800 volts. So but there was no surprise that Volvo was going to do the same. The Polestar 3 and Volvo's EX90 are built on the same SPA2 platform. And since the EX90 have been heavily delayed, the difference got 
just enhanced when we saw the ES90 uh, last week or two weeks ago on 800 volts. And that triggered more and more journalists to bug Volvo. When will this come? Volvo haven't said officially a date yet, but they have said that Volvo will change over to 800 volt architecture during a model year switch. And now we are currently running model year 25 production. I'm recording this video in, uh, yeah, it's March 2025. And usually Volvo changes over to model year 26 in like week 17, 18, 19. But I have heard rumors that Volvo are gonna uh, push the Molya 25 production a couple of months further, all the way up to like September, October, before they will kick over to Molya 26. And why are they doing that? Why are they pushing the Molya 25 production like six months? They have never done that earlier. Usually they always run over to the Molya 26 in like week 17, 18, 19. But now for the EX90, they're gonna push it a couple of months. And I think, just I, put, I, I think, that is because Volvo from Molya 26 production will do the 800 volt transition. Meaning that the Molya 26 EX90 will offer 800 volt architecture. And what benefits do, does that have? Is it worth the wait if you haven't gotten your EX90 yet? Should you wait? Well, in my opinion, it really doesn't have huge benefits unless you travel, always do long distance traveling and you stop at these rapid chargers because the current EX90 on 400 volt have a peak charging at 250 kilowatt. While the, EX, no, while the ES90 with 800 volt can peak at 350 kilowatt. So 100 kilowatt more. That's the benefit with 800 volt, rapid charging. So unless you do high, mi high mileage and always uh, rapidly charges at these high rapid chargers, unless you do that, then it won't have a huge impact uh, for you. But if you do this high mileage and tra travel a lot, stopping at these rapid chargers, then the 800 volt are beneficial. So in that case, I would wait. But I think it's really, really cool that Volvo will implement 800 volt. And I also think they should have had it from launch. Um, the competitors, some of the competitors already have 800 volt. So uh, that's a huge upgrade. And I think it will come from Molya 26. Don't arrest me on it if it's not correct, but I have some um, predictions that I think it will come for the 26 production. That will kick off in probably October this year. It is getting dark pretty rapidly here in Sweden these days, but luckily I have my EC40 with me and the standby L54 lights that we have mounted on it. So now we can get some lights back on again for the final shot. But what do you think about the transition over to 800 volt architecture for the EX90? Or what do you think about the bi-directional charging? Is this something that is important for you? For me personally, I think the 800 volt car is the one to get, but that is for me because I often travel long distances and I often stop at these rapid chargers. So for me, it will be highly beneficial with the 800 volt system and a faster charging peak or faster charging curve. Probably up to 350 kilowatt if it can get the same peak power as the ES90. That remains to be seen. But I think this is a huge upgrade for the EX90. And the last update that they're gonna do for the Molya 26 are that they're finally gonna offer the EX90 with a Napa leather upholstery. Because a couple of years ago, Volvo said that they would no longer offer Napa leather in their electric cars. But luckily, Volvo listens to the customers. Customers have demanded, we want leather. So finally, leather are back as an option. If you want it, just make it available, Volvo. So that is a huge thumbs up for making it available again. It's well and good with options and alternatives such as the tailored wool or the Nordico, but for those that want Napa leather, let them get it. So huge thanks to Volvo Cast for that. So I think it's time to wrap up the video. It's getting crazy cold here. I didn't bring my jacket um, on this uh, weekend getaway to Gothenburg. But 
really hope you have enjoyed this short video with the updates for the EX90 and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye bye.